And welcome back to the Factor on Sense, and we're continuing to track Hurricane Ian. Now, the storm is now classified as a Category 1 hurricane and making its way through South Carolina. Its impact has been deadly, to say the least. Search efforts continue in impacted areas, and at least 45, get this, 45 people so far have been reported dead. Now, that number is sadly expected to rise. Help has been pouring into communities who need it. A Houston-based recovery firm is also sending help and will be there on the ground Monday. And joining us tonight here on The Factor on Uncensored, we have with us Spurgeon Robinson, founder of Impact Strategic Consulting. Glad to have you on The Factor on Uncensored. Obviously, our prayers go out to the people of Florida. I mean, it was a nightmare there when Ian touched ground, and they will be cleaning up for quite some time. Uh, you will play a role in that. You will have a team that will soon be going there to helping uh, to help out municipalities and state and federal officials as well. So tell us, Spurgeon, what your group, your company will be doing there. Yeah, so uh, Impact Strategic Consulting, we're an emergency management disaster recovery firm. We help state and local governments in working with their citizens and the federal government to uh, help through, recover through the recovery process. As you imagine, this has been a devastating event. Yes. Right now, search and rescue is heavily going on, making sure that people are out of homes and other areas where there could be danger. So we're really rescuing people from Sanibel Island, et cetera. So our team and a number of partners we work with uh, then are going to go in and help what we do called damage assessments and helping to clear debris, essentially, mm -hmm. get things out of the way so that first responders and others can get back to the island, people get back to their homes and clear out things they need to, but more importantly, get power back up. You know how important that is because with power, you can get gas, you can get other activities going where people can start to rebuild or at least get things out of the way so they can assess the entire damages. Our team then helps with the damage assessments and inspections that will occur as well. So yeah, I know the totality of this tremendous event that's actually still going on. I tell people it's still, this hurricane is actually in South Carolina now. Mm -hmm. So it's not over as far as the impact. Florida's had the brunt of it and a significant brunt as well. Uh, and there's those total damages are going to be in the uh, 40 to $50 billion already estimated as it is. So our boots on the ground, our, our team and uh, will come in and help state and local officials to determine how much damage is, where is the damage, where we have to still be able to clear roads and bridges or, and how it's, and rebuild uh, infrastructure, even if it's temporary, so that people can actually get to different parts of uh, Florida that's been disrupted. And Spurgeon, when you take a look at what happened in Florida and it's still moving up the coast, how do you compare that to Harvey, what we experience here? Is it anywhere close or beyond Harvey? Yeah. So it's actually, in a sense, they're so different. And these storms are so different. I tell people every storm is different. So Harvey, Irma, Maria, others that hit at that point in time. So Harvey was a tremendous rain event, as we know, right. and somewhat of a wind event as well. So here you have 40 inches of rain just continue to pound the city over and over. And so that was very tough. So you had a real unique flood event with um, Ian. You had both flooding and this huge storm surge and this wind factor coming through Florida. So it was more torrential in the sense that people uh, with the high velocity of wind, it destroyed a lot more property and more devastating property because you had a lot of projectiles. Harvey, rain event, a little bit more, but really was a wind uh, force of nature coming through with Ian. So those are really how they're different. And I'll tell you, every storm is different and it moves up. And of course, Ian moved a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Harvey stayed in place, as we know, multiple days. So those are some of the differences we see with these different types of storms, but all of them are unique and just devastating. And Spurgeon, this process, just like Harvey, you know, we recently did a Harvey special here, and people are still waiting to get their rooftops repaired. So, and looking at what we saw in Florida, that could take years yes. to recover from. Recovery will take a long time. We have to brace and, and allow people to understand that it will take a while. We are still working in Harvey, for example. Mm -hmm. Our team is still working in New York from Sandy that occurred wow. several wow. years ago as well. So these are long-term recovery 
uh, projects and we have to have people be patient. However, we want to, I think FEMA and the federal government, state and local government are trying to find ways to actually rebuild a little bit faster, but we also want to make it resilient and mitigate so it's not you don't have the same repetitive losses as well. So it's a very key important part of it. But the recovery process is long. And it's unfortunate that you're going to find five to six, seven, maybe 10 years from now, we're still uh, repairing and rebuilding from in. Fort Myers, for example, a city that has been decimated at the heart of it. Estimate maybe 75% of the city may be just completely um, you know, decimated. It's going to take time to rebuild that city. It was a major city. Uh, in some sense. So uh, prepare for the long haul on these uh, types of events, unfortunately. Uh, but those the price recovery in these storms are just so devastating. All right. Spurgeon Robinson, founder of Impact Consulting here in Houston, and you're headed to Florida next week. We appreciate your time on the Factor Uncensored tonight, sir. 